And the board that governs all universities in the state wants UNC Chapel Hill leaders to decide what's next for Silent Sam. As CBS 17's Derek Lewis explains tonight, the board didn't say whether or not the statue should stay down or go back up. They merely said a decision must be made. He joins us live from the university tonight. Derek. Angela Marius, the Board of Governors, has given the Board of Trustees three months to make a re recommendation about what should happen to Silent Sam that stood here one time uh, last, just last week. Now, one member tells me three months is too long. UNC Board of Governors has come up with the next steps for Silent Sam's future. The Board of Governors directs Chancellor Folt and the UNC Chapel Hill Board of Trustees to develop and present to the Board of Governors a plan for the monument's disposition and preservation, which should be presented to the Board of Governors by November 15, 2018. The resolution comes a week after protesters knocked down the Confederate statue on UNC's campus. I opposed the motion and stated that I appreciated the Board of Governors' commitment to obey the Monument Protection Act, but I could not support the motion as written. Board member Tom Goolsby tells me a decision on Silent Sam's future needs to come sooner. The time frame was far too long, especially in light of the violence, the ongoing threats, and the continuing danger on our university campuses. Most members dialed in for the hour-long closed session meeting. Outnumbered in the vote, Goolsby says he's concerned about the safety of the UNC community. We need to be acting quicker. We need to be reacting quicker. These groups are not going to slow down in their efforts to disrupt life on campus, to create violent conditions, possible riots, and other property destruction. Now, the Board of Trustees also had a meeting today. Members of that board tell me right now they are looking at options of where Silent Sam could go, and they are not ruling out this location. Live in Chapel Hill, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS 17 News.